So if we hit the compare button here, what we can actually do is you can compare any model with any other model. Do you think it's worth upgrading to the latest standard iPad model from a Mini 4? So the Mini 4 versus uh, the the iPad. In fact, what we let, let's do let's do, do a little bit of live comparison here since Ed Z has the question because Apple actually do have a pretty good comparison that you can use. You can actually compare two different models. So let's uh, let's go in here because I do have my iPad guide at uh, studiolivetoday.com/ipad. And I recommend like the, the latest generation. I've, I've got one. Uh, it's actually with my mum now because uh, I I have the iPad Pro, and uh, I also got the uh, the new version of the iPad just to test it out. It's great. It flies along. It's it's a great value investment. Uh, but in in terms of comparing it, so if we hit the compare button here, what we can actually do is you can compare any model with any other model. So let's grab the iPad Mini Four which is the one that it, uh, Ed's talking about here. And then the regular iPad ninth generation that we've got there. We don't need a third one, but it's got the mini sixth generation there. So if we're comparing these two, obviously screen size is a thing. Uh, look at that chip upgrade that you're getting. You're going from the A8 chip up to the A13 chip. So your mini four is really going to start, not, not lagging, but in terms of performance, yeah, you're five generations up here in the A13 chip with the neural engine. So you're going to get a big performance boost. In fact, let's, let's grab this one, the mini fifth generation, just so that we're not comparing it with something that's, uh, that's really recent. So you can see there, the A12 is in the fifth generation. So there was a big jump. With the minis, there's always a big jump because they only update them about every three or four years. The, the A13 here on the new one. So you're going to get yourself two extra inches of screen real estate. You're going to get yourself a fifth generation higher chip. Uh, your camera, for what, for what it's worth, uh, you're going to get a much uh, higher resolution camera there. You're getting the 12 megapixel versus the 1.2 megapixel camera there. Uh, still running a lightning connection. Uh, in terms of any of your other stuff, you know, height and weight and all that sort of thing, you've got the retina display on both. So that's going to be all pretty much the same sort of thing. There's your chip difference. You've got the neural engine, uh, battery life and things are going to be about the same. So really, it's going to come down to the camera, which you may or may not care about for an iPad. I certainly don't care about the camera on my iPad. Uh, and everything else is pretty similar except that chip. So if you're finding that your, your current iPad is lagging a bit uh, or you're not able to run or you're getting optimizing performance, you're definitely going to see a drastic improvement going from the A8 chip right up to the A13 chip. So I think it would actually be a pretty decent investment for you, Ed. Uh, you can get them from, from $499. And the good news is what Apple have done with the newer iPads is that even the base configuration is 64 gigabytes. So you, none of this sort of 16 and 32 that we used to have that wasn't enough for music production. So the 34, uh, sorry, the 64 gig uh, for $499. If your budget stretches, I would always recommend going to 56 because if you've done uh, audio and especially video on your iPad, you will know that you will use up a lot of space very, very quickly. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps you out uh, with that decision, Ed. But yeah, that new the regular don't don't dismiss the regular iPads because with the A13 chip in there, it really does fly along. When I had it, I was testing it out, and yeah, it, it absolutely crushed my old iPad Air 2. Uh, it absolutely crushed it, and I didn't I didn't see a big difference between it and the iPad Pro 2020. To be really honest, so even though it doesn't have the Pro the Pro tag, it's definitely worthwhile.